Hello, Michael Ye here from UCLA Health Endocrine Surgery, and the topic today is normocalcemic primary hyperparathyroidism. This is a condition where the blood calcium level stays normal, usually between 8.5 and 10.3 micrograms per deciliter, while the parathyroid hormone, also known as PTH, level is high, usually 65 micrograms per milliliter or greater. This is an uncommon diagnosis because we don't often check PTH levels in people with normal blood calcium levels. The exception to this rule might be if a patient has unexplained bone loss or osteoporosis. In that case, a doctor might check the PTH levels even when the blood calcium is normal. Normal calcemic primary hyperparathyroidism can only be diagnosed when once other causes of secondary hyperparathyroidism have been ruled out. The most common causes of secondary hyperparathyroidism include vitamin D deficiency, and I'm talking about vitamin D levels below 20 nanograms per ml. The second most common cause is kidney disease, which can also raise your PTH levels. Once we've ruled out vitamin D deficiency and kidney disease, and the patient has a normal calcium level, usually in the nines or perhaps low tens, along with a high PTH level, then we can consider the diagnosis of normal calcemic primary hyperparathyroidism. Let's talk about treatment considerations in normal calcemic primary hyperparathyroidism. If your calcium level is below 10, for instance, somewhere in the nines, surgery is usually not needed. There is no strong evidence in the scientific literature showing that surgery helps these patients when their calcium levels are in the nines. If your calcium is between 10 to 10.3 and your PTH level is high, for example, 100 or greater, surgery may help. This picture starts to look a little bit more like classic primary hyperparathyroidism, where surgery is usually recommended. Surgery may be more beneficial if you have clear evidence of bone loss, such as osteoporosis or osteopenia, the latter being an earlier stage of bone loss. Patients often ask if surgery will help with things such as fatigue or trouble concentrating. These symptoms are not specific to normal calcemic primary hyperparathyroidism and could be caused by many other things. There's no strong evidence that surgery can help with these symptoms, especially for patients with calcium levels below 10. For those with calcium levels in the low 10s, for instance 10 to 10.3, surgery might help strengthen bones and lower the risk of fractures, especially if osteoporosis is present. Now, if your calcium level is 10.4 and greater, then we're starting to talk about probably classic primary hyperparathyroidism, which usually should be treated with surgery. To summarize, Normal calcemic primary hyperparathyroidism is a tricky diagnosis. If you're diagnosed with this condition, it's important to see an endocrinologist or endocrine surgeon. Take your time to understand your options and please don't rush into surgery. This condition is usually not an emergency and careful informed decision-making is key. Thank you for your attention. Once again, I'm Michael Ye from UCLA Health Endocrine Surgery.